British accent. People are so challenge. tired of me, my British accent. <laughs> I don't think so. It's actually caught on to me. Sometimes I'll sneak it in. Yeah, I've been trying to like slowly go into other accents. Oh, what do you have? Um, I have a little bit of my Irish. Ooh. Um, a little bit of my Australian. I've been working on my Australian. I, I've come to find out that Australian's a lot more like open mouth, where British is a lot more like rounded out. Mm. I don't know. I've been... Yeah, oh, and my Boston. Boston. Yeah, I've been trying to work on the pot. You should do a Jersey one. You, I don't know. I, I don't know. No? I've been trying to get the New York and then the Bo- um, Boston accent down. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Bookmark. Welcome back. I'm your host, Destiny. And I'm your host, Sarah. And this is Bookmark. This is our first, like, official, official. This is our first official, 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 official episode. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> I love that I didn't answer. Um... <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling excited to see how, like, the first actual episode goes. Yeah, me too. I'm so excited. Yeah, I know. Me this too. Is, this is going to be so much fun. Yeah, it is going to be so much fun. All right. Anyway. Drink All of right. the episode. Drink of the episode. Let's start. Let's start with mine. Mm. I'm cracking open a cold Alani new. A good old cold um, Feel Alani. free to sponsor us <laughs> if you want, because I'm literally always buying mm. these and drinking these. So, Alani. Um, hey, Alani. Hey, Alani. Um, <laughs> can I literally get some you, for free? Let me help you out. Yeah. Let me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just this is a two-girl job. Look at this. Look at <laughs> Look at that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, ASMR. Some of you are going to hate this. Ooh, Ooh. That was a good one. That was like a crisp sound. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> Alani, did you see that? <laughs> see how convincing I can be? <laughs> Not convincing. I really do love these things. No, I know. You stock up. I literally have them in like all of my vlogs every single day. Like I'm always cracking one. I'm like, hey, Alani. <laughs> but what's your drink? My drink is a strawberry refresher. Watered down. Watered down at this point, but it actually has water in it too. So it's like extra watered down. Sarah has the ability <laughs> to just drink watered down <laughs> drinks like yeah. nobody's business. I will have my drinks that I get like morning, afternoon for like the whole day. And I don't drink water, which is not good. That's concerning. Yeah. Well. Uh, do you drink water? Yes. Oh, you oh, you have a Stanley. <laughs> I think if I had a Stanley, I would drink water. I drink literally like probably two or three of these a day. And they're about 40 ounces. So it's about 120 ounces of water. 100 to 120 ounces of water I drink a day. So you've convinced me to get a Stanley. Yeah. I've convinced you to come over to the dark side because all of a sudden, this is the thing. Tangent time. <laughs> tangent time is meant for the podcast. First literally, tangent. people on TikTok will hype something up and then you like feed into the hype, mm-hmm. right? And then they'll tear you down for having it. So like now, st- people hate Stanleys. Oh, so what should I get? A Stanley? Like who cares? I had a Yeti and I loved my Yeti. I used to have a Hydro Flask. Oh, uh, okay. I, I- Maybe I'm thinking of a Hydro Flask. But the thing about Hydro Flasks and Yetis that are annoying is that they can't fit in a cup holder. Yeah, that's the thing. And this is perfect. I also think I had it for too long. The metal was kind of grossing me out. No, that's the thing, too. I had my Hydro Flask since I was literally, like, 15. And I never got another, like, new water bottle like that. And then um, it also stopped, like, keeping the ice cold because it had been, like, so long. I don't know if that's a fact or if I'm just kind of, like, going with that. But that's (laughs) what I'm saying. Yeah. And also it still had, like, all my stickers from my Visco Girl phase on it (laughs) that I did all throughout high school. I'm going to bring that back. I'm gonna get um a st- uh, what are they called? Uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna get a hydro flask. I'm gonna put my stickers on it. Yeah, I'm bringing it back. Yeah, I'm hashtag gonna bring hydro flasks back. Hashtag after this comes out. Actually, by, by the time this is out, when I'm home, I'm gonna have one with with stickers on it. I thought about putting stickers on my Stanley, but I guess it's not socially acceptable. No, start it. It's the same thing as like I don't feel like I can go into public wearing my AirPods. Oh, I I can't do it. I get so embarrassed. But I can go in and do the in the ear once just fine so i I started making myself do like the over the head because i'm like it's the same thing i know but then i feel like people will see me in there like she really doesn't want to be talked to right now and i don't But that's the point i know but i just like i want to go to barns with my headphones on and i don't i do that all the time i think i need to do that when i go home i get nervous even if i'm just running in really quick i'm like no one please talk to me and that's not to like be mean it's just that yeah usually i'm in the zone and usually it's because anxiety levels are Mm -hmm. very high and i can't be yeah talk to you at that moment yeah if i can go anywhere with headphones and a podcast in my ear i think i would do it even just music sometimes i mm-hmm. literally just have it on the lowest volume because also as a yeah. woman you have to be so aware of your surroundings at all times uh, so yeah. especially in barns i feel like now the guys know the creepy guys know <laughs> they know where to find the us. Built girlies and they're like in we barns. gotta go to barns i swear i've had so many interactions like oh, that really? in barns i haven't yet one time i did feel bad though because <laughs> this is so embarrassing but like an older man had been kind of like going down the same aisles as me and like romance young adult fantasy like all this Mm -hmm. stuff i was very weirded out and then i like checked out and then he like started following me out of the store and i never the thing is is that i chose this day to be confrontational about it and i was like because 
I get this like feeling and if I have a really strong feeling like somebody's weirding me out I turned around and I like started saying something to him Mm -hmm. and then realized that he was looking for his granddaughter that was waiting outside no literally wanted to die in that moment Uh. I was like oh my god but the thing is is I didn't get like what I was saying out I was just like like, are you you?" like I was like are you and then he was like oh and then his granddaughter like walked up to him I've only ever confronted at the gym yeah because that's where and like it, it was like very blatant and i looked at him and i was like the gym is very blatant though yeah. and i don't like it's just so hard yeah. i had to switch my gym times because of that that's literally i refuse so gross. and the boys on tiktok so many tangents literally within <laughs> minutes, but the boys on tiktok that are like if a girl's wearing a tucked in like shirt it's because like she wants to be looked at i'm like no how about it's because i have no. really bad back sweat and i hate feeling yeah. my shirt stick to my body the thing is at my gym at least it's the older men <laughs> that are bad people that are like around our age they're just they know no, not to do it not to look too, or anything. i feel bad because there's like a few old men at my gym that, that are nice. see me every morning they're so nice there's, but there's a some few that are just like please stop <laughs> that i'm like there's one and i'm just like oh i just yeah. feel weird vibes from yeah, you and like I, every time i see him around i like i will hop onto like the stair climber mm-hmm. or the treadmill or something and try to avoid yeah. it one day i was doing core and he like stopped and started talking to me like while i was doing my core workout so and he's like dropping me 20 and i was like <laughs> not funny no it's not funny it's old man humor <laughs> yeah. uh, i kind of have old man humor but anyway. Um, anyway i do have a strawberry refresher running back over to my drink of the day yeah watered down watered down it's still good though i go between refreshers teas you'll see my drink of the, the episode Matches will be different. Are really it depends on the time of day that we're doing it because you usually yeah. have a matcha in the morning yeah right now it's like evening time so uh, they also didn't have matcha not sure what's going on there sarah but. literally was gonna be double fisting it she was mm-hmm. literally gonna be doing a refresher yeah. and then a, a matcha, matcha but then they didn't because sometimes it. i can't decide and it's better to have both than yeah one, you know yeah. i do that a lot it's fun it is fun so anyway um, <laughs> what <laughs> i'm literally gonna ask you what book you're reading and it's the same as last episode it is the same but i can go more into depth if you want are you like rotating between books or just that book right now? Because, okay, so I started this and I'm not in a fantasy mood. But like since it's for a video, I'm like, I need to finish it. Plus, I think I might like it. I don't know. I'm not far in. That's I why. I would say it's not high. It's, it's kind of, it kind of gives Once Upon a Broken Heart. Where, That's like, why I think I'd enjoy it It's a not a more. fantasy. It's more just like a make-believe world where it doesn't, yeah. there's no magic. Yeah. So I'm reading Heartless by Marissa Meyer. It's basically like a Queen of Hearts, Alice in Wonderland type vibe. Yeah. yeah. I'm only like 70 pages in. And it's just like the mood I'm in right now, like Happy Place just came out. And there's our book for my book club whatever of the month yeah and i really want to get to because i finally got it so now that's on my radar and that's all i'm thinking about yeah. so while i'm reading this i'm like oh, i just want to read a different book but it's hard because you're reading that book for a video because usually yeah. what i'll do is i'll be like oh i'm just gonna like go oh, over yeah. to this book but it's hard because you're like on a deadline in yeah. your head of like okay no i need to get through this book. i would have put it down if it wasn't for a video yeah. and happy place but i want this video to be this is the last book for the video too so i just need to finish it yeah so i get that video up but it's hard because you started doing this same exact thing that i was doing at your house when i was reading that book you uh, were like, sitting outside yeah. and you kept putting it down and then yeah. picking up your phone. And I was reading it this morning too. And I was like, I gave myself a little guideline. I was like, just 30 pages. And I read like 10. I think I need to get more into it. I don't know. It's I'm I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Yeah. I mean, it, it's good so far. I, le- I like fantasy that's fairy tale esque Yeah. I mean, I like both fantasies. But like, yeah. I like more fairy tale esque So it's not it's not bad. I just have to keep reading. And yeah. I just, I need time. We haven't had time much to read this week. So once no. I have time, Been booked I will. Busy. Yeah, lots Literally booked so. in And busy. it's been stressing me out. Oh, you have no idea. Me too. Oh, no. Today, when I was in Walgreens and I was trying to print off that picture, I literally was on the verge of tears. Mm-hmm. And my mom was like, you need to like get yourself yeah. together. Because a lot of things, we have a lot of things like on our list to do. And I yeah. think that's just what overwhelms us. Well, and it was hard because like at the beginning of the month, I don't know if you're like this too, but I have this thought in my brain about sit down videos. Like just when you're mm-hmm. strictly like sitting down and it's like just one full yeah. clip that I feel like people think that it's low effort like for me to do that Uh I have that thought and like it scares me to like do a bunch of sit down videos in a row that's not low effort it's not a different type of video it's not low effort but I feel like people think like oh this is like a filler video do you know what I mean I think that's just in our brains because we're on this side of the channel yeah I'm like so hypercritical because I like like watching sit down videos I don't think I love watching sit but that's the thing I'm not good at doing sit down videos I don't have a lot I I just do reading vlogs and I think that's what takes me so long so I'm like I want to do a sit down but then I'm like I always in my head, I'm like, no one wants to hear me talk, but I'm like, maybe they do. I don't no, know. No, I have two sit down videos that I need to film. Mm. I have uh, I one mean, for edit. This month. And um, it just sucks though, because like the only two that are on my channel right now are like my um, April wrap up, May TBR. Mm. And then it's like my summer TBR recommend, uh, summer recommendations, then my yeah. like summer TBR. But I literally just want to delete them because I don't no. like them. 
I, that happens to me so many times mm-hmm. i will if you see a sit down video of mine just know that i filmed it five times i kid you not i did that with my what month are we in my april wrap up oh my god the lighting was bad everything was going on and editing it and watching it i know no one else would think of it and i was just getting so frustrated i didn't want to film it but i was already into may yes it's like we're too far in i can't refilm this and i was like it's just going up no that's me with like everything because i already know like so i filmed it on monday i filmed both of those videos on monday that way i could like edit it while i was here but i haven't had any time to edit Mm -hmm. and i was like okay i'm gonna have those like and so my thought process is it's already thursday and i know i don't have time to edit the videos and i'm like i was gonna see if i could edit them tonight and see if i like it but i like didn't like the way that i looked i didn't like my hair and it was like all of that yeah it's like little what's up nitpicking nitpicking. yeah Yeah, and i'm like no i can't do it like i'm Mm -hmm. very bad about nitpicking myself that's Mm -hmm. why i film videos so many times but when it's it's so weird because when it's a reading it's only a sit down when you nitpick. yeah because when i'm in a reading vlog i'm like i will literally just wake up roll out of bed my eyes are swollen because i feel like it's different you're reading and you're talking about the book but sit down it's like it's just you the whole clip really it's not like little filler clips and stuff so it's different and i have to be in the mood to film a sit down video because yeah. i try to like put my little like quirks in it and my my little like jokes i don't even <laughs> i'm literally putting air quotes like <laughs> jokes like some people think they're funny i don't know i think, you're, I think it's funny I, I think you're so funny i'm never gonna say that i'm funny because people <laughs> the moment that i'm like oh i'm funny and i don't think i'm funny please don't think that i'm funny <laughs> people would be like you're not funny like what are you talking about and i'd be like <laughs> no but you are funny no but like i try to do that but like for example, in those, I was not in the mood to film a sit-down video. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't feel funny at all. Like, yeah. I don't feel like I'm even, like, I feel like it could show that my energy was kind of like, yeah. I have so many things in my brain to do right now. That's like what I was yeah, doing. Yeah, so just put that in the back and when you get home, you can figure it out when you get home. Just, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Right, but, yeah, anyway. Um, but so that, you're, all that to say, I'm not reading a book right now. I was going to say, so you're not reading anything. No, I'm not. Do you have like a little TBR you can give us? Of what you want so to it depends to? on like the video that i want to do because i wanted to do this is a little sneak peek mm-hmm. um i wanted to do either like reading 200 pages a day like that oh, video that's on my radar for this month which too. that's more of like a i feel like a reading vlog almost like a what i read this week but it kind of has yes. like a structure and to I, the video. I like that one because you can also choose what book you want to read yes. not like specific to the video you can just mood read kind but of i think i might do that towards the end of the month because i think i might do the like um reading book talks like most hyped up books right now okay. and with that one it would be like uh what is it daughter of no world yeah. daughter of no worlds haunting and hunting adeline scary oh my <laughs> um things we leave unfinished and oh. i feel like there's a fourth one and i don't know i feel like what I've a read range literally all of book talks like most famous books mm-hmm. because i feel like as a booktuber people are like what do you think about them you know what i yeah. mean like so i feel like i have to read them not like i have to i want to but like yeah yeah, to see you what also feel your that, opinion. Like, almost like an obligation like everybody's talking right now what do i think about it yeah you know? like, like it's, it's happy place it's like i have to read you it you do have to read it though <laughs> oh my god i know i because i've been avoiding it literally like the plague like the plague because i see everyone posting everyone crying quotes everywhere and i'm like i made myself reread beach read to have like a good connotation with emily henry because my last one wasn't but so her great writing is so much different in happy place. i heard that you t- bold of you to say but you told me it reminded you of jessa hastings but even um i was watching rachel catherine's wrap up and it's so funny because i was reading it and thinking it Mm -hmm. and she literally said the same exact thing and i commented on her video i said that is so crazy because i had that same exact thought any wrap up it's been in i had to skip a little bit because i'm like i want to go in so blind because i need my own opinions you need to go in blind but i just think her writing was magnificent in this book i think it was so good but can i I say one quick thing about emily henry Mm -hmm. i this is a bold statement i said that in my videos i hate kind of when people are like her books are romance books i don't think her books are romance books yeah. i think they have a strong subplot of romance i think her books are more literary fiction yeah i said that after reading beach read again too it was like this has more to the story and then the romance there's just always like makes it, it more. yes it's about the character going through something mm-hmm. and then there's a rub yeah. romance subplot. and she does a good job with the character going through something because in beach read it was like really adamant that they both had something yes personal and then them connecting oh and that was so good but i feel like maybe it wasn't like i feel like people would meet on vacation maybe like her strongest romance one i don't it's her least favorite one but from what i remember of it it's like she was going through like something with her job that's all i'll say but then like the big plot point was like her and alex i agree but i have i remember i was was talking to two girls and they had the same feelings about emily henry as me and they read happy place together and they told me about it and they were like girl you're gonna you're gonna love it yeah i i hope you love it because i loved it so much i would just say because i I, you don't want to know anything Mm -hmm. i would just say the romance is a strong Mm subplot, but it's so much more yeah so much more which i've heard which i'm excited and, and I everyone it. i literally everyone i've seen has given it utmost five but like high high ratings which is so weird because i've been hearing people say i've been hearing bad things about it i'm oh, like really? i haven't heard bad things about it i've heard only good things i got a few comments on my youtube wrap up being like i'm surprised you liked it because it had a lot of something in it and i was like 
I mean, but there was a purpose, so right. whatever. Well, I'm yeah. excited to read it. It's yeah. definitely going to be next yeah. on my little I'm TBR. I'm excited for you to read it. I literally want you to. Well, it took this long because I hardcover, as we know, came out. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not doing it because I just, I didn't, I didn't want the hardcover. So I did the book depository right, bef- right before they closed. So I was never going to get the, it. It's literally the paperback it's of pa- the hardcover. Yeah, it's the same it's size. Print. Yeah, it's basically large print paperback, but I just didn't want to hold the, I don't know. I was it's very basically picky. when people got ARCs. It's basically, it was yeah, that. it's bigger. I just didn't want the hardcover. So I waited so long to get it because book depository was closing. So it took a little bit to get and it just delivered. And now I'm like staring at it every day. But I I just ordered all of her UK because I never had her UK paperbacks. Mm-hmm. And Emily Henry, I'm going to boldly say this, is my favorite author. I Ooh. would literally buy her grocery list and just read it and dissect it and frame it on my wall. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite author because she feel, I feel like she has no misses. Even though I don't really love people being on vacation, I still enjoyed reading that book. Like I still right. had a good experience reading it. She's my favorite author, all 100%. Right. I'm it's, think of mine. It's her... Why am I talking so loud? <laughs> it's her, and then I just love Abby Jimenez's books because yeah. like they're just like a breath of fresh air. She does write really well. And then I love Chloe Walsh literally just because she made Binding and Keeping 13. Love <laughs> and that, that for series. You. I love her so much. Um, I also DM'd her, and I think <laughs> <laughs> she's definitely scared of me. <laughs> That's me with Jessa. I'm like, I think she might be sick of me a little bit. Not because I DM her a lot, but I think because everyone tags me when they're like starting magnolia parks and i love seeing it you have absolutely no idea how much i love seeing people read it that's me but i'm tagged in all of them and she's probably like girl how much do you talk about this series but then again she can't yeah there's two sides i guess let's be honest (laughs) if i was an author i would be so thankful for people like that hey jessa i heard magnolia parks 3 was done and if you have any arcs that is me with sarah j mass i will sob i think i would break down anyway no, that's literally me and Sarah J. Mass. Mm-hmm. I was just, we were literally just talking about this in the room. I was like, I don't, I don't even want to tell anybody the unspeakable things I would do for a arc of Crescent City yeah. 3. Because like, it's done. It's finished. Yeah. She posted it. Does she do arcs? No. Yeah. No, she doesn't. Because I, I don't, I don't know. Because I feel like she's such, and, but then again, like Emily Henry's a very like, whatever author, like very established author mm-hmm. and she does arcs, but I just feel like Sarah J. Mass is like different. Like she's very like, yeah so established but i see so many people on like instagram and everywhere that like get arcs of like the most hyped up books like anticipated books coming out and a I'm lot like, of them get them like virtually i don't know <laughs> well like for example bestie Haley, i just saw where she got lynn painter's Ooh, new yeah. YA arc and i literally want i literally almost the dm was like can you use it to me <laughs> after you're done reading because what well, doesn't it come out in june though i don't know or does it hold on does it not come out until the fall time I, am i wrong no i have no idea when it i comes thought out. that it came out in june but i may be so I loud saw someone so else wrong. also get that arc I don't know where. But, you, but Lynn Painter has been talking to you. Guys, this is like the craziest thing. Because I've talked to um, authors like as myself DMing them. I've never talked to authors before. Except for Chloe Walsh and Jessa. Well, what I mean is like I've tagged them. I've DMed them or messaged them. Like no one's ever like re- not reached out. I've had authors reach out to me, but not like. Like the um, like your Emily Henry's your. Yeah, which was Lynn Painter's like the first like really I feel like bigger one to notice me a little she commented on my tiktok with me Des, and Haley doing the ceilings little thing and then i replied back i was like i literally just read the love wager and i was obsessed with it i just talked about it in a video and she's like oh my god and then i went over to instagram just to look at her instagram because i didn't follow her i don't know i'm not very good at seeing follower whatever and she she was following me followed back and then she replied to my story i know i'm so excited <laughs> oh, for you she was like i think i posted a song and she was like um had this on repeat or she was talking about the song it was like criminally underrated do you want to know what's weird what? the other day do you know the reel i post on my reading page where i was like come to barnes with me yeah and i don't ever tag authors i feel like maybe that's my fault too is that like when i do talk about books i don't tag authors oh i talk i yeah i, I don't I, I just don't i feel like sometimes i just like kind of post and i'm like empty yeah. brained about it because yeah. i like post and ghost is what i call it so i'll post something and, then and i don't check anything because i'm so literally mm-hmm. my anxiety is so high but i didn't tag anything and sarah adams commented <gasps> on that reel and i was buying her books in that reel it's like that's cool. Is that not weird? Maybe she followed me already. I don't know. Or does check. she even follow me? I don't know. I have, I've, de- I've commented on authors' posts before and they've liked it. That's always cool. I don't comment on anything. I think I've just like, I saw. I'm such a bad social media person. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm so bad at it. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, but I don't really scroll through Instagram that much, I would say. Yeah, I don't really either. I feel like if my Instagram algorithm's really weird and they'll like post the same photo yes, i've been looking at uh, for the past two days and it's yes. like i don't know what's going on that's the thing and i see a lot of people complain about that but yeah i don't really like see that much stuff and sometimes i forget to follow authors you want to know why yeah, i don't too. let myself follow authors because i will do what, exactly what i did to chloe walsh yeah. i just don't want them to think i'm following them because i want no, things from them I. and that's why i do feel like i have that guilt too where i feel yeah. like i don't want to put a pressure on authors probably don't care but in my head 
I don't want them to think I want something yeah, from them. Like, yeah, it's just like, I want to follow you because I appreciate you and yeah. all the work that you put into stuff. It's like when I followed Jessa and Magnolia Parks Universe and all of that, I was like, I'm infiltrating you guys. Yeah, Jessa, I feel so bad for the messages I sent her too, but I was literally <laughs> in like a breakdown. I should not, literally, <laughs> well, I that think was that good, though. Veronica, Jasmine, if you're listening, can you guys take away my social media from me? <laughs> because I get to mental breakdowns and literally, like these people, I feel like could give me a restraining order sometimes. <laughs> like, because you, like, especially if you know me and you like watch my videos you will learn very quickly that i emotionally attach myself to things and i get so invested Mm -hmm. like so invested in everything so when i message authors like sometimes i feel like maybe i'm a psychopath i did that after things we never got over which i read like two years ago now and that's when we got like hints of lucian and sloan and i dm lucy score and i gave her like a whole paragraph and and i was like i need it i've met her but after after that was like two years ago or a while ago before like i think that was like the beginning of not beginning my book too but like in the beginning of it it was last year things never got over La- that came out last year that was like popular in the springtime of last year why does that feel like ages ago i know but that was like last year that was I can last remember. year that was yes it was like march and april no it was 2022 babe anyway so <laughs> i don't know the years it felt like that was long anyway i dm'd her and then i ended up unsending it after i met her i was like if she sees me tagging her, I'd, I'm embarrassed. Now, when you met her, did she know that you were a booktuber or did she not know? No, I th- when I went up to her, first she said she like thanked Chris because we were on like the back of the line. We were there for like three hours. And then I told her I was a booktuber. And I told her that I rave about her books. Like I seriously am obsessed with them. And then I was talking about, I told her by a thread was my favorite because she was signing that one. She's like Dom. And I was like, yeah, I love Dom. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, I told her that I was a booktuber. So she has the knowledge now. She probably doesn't remember the knowledge of that, but I did tell her. That yeah, I, 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 want, I want the arc of um her Lucian and Sloan. Oh, me too. Oh my god, I would fall also, to the am, floor. Am I pronouncing Lucian right? Because all I'm thinking about is Akatar when I pronounce Lucian because it's, ex- uh, it's I say spelled Lucian. the same. I say okay, maybe I'm t- literally every single time that I read a fantasy book, I mm-hmm. always tell people I'm like literally don't comment and say oh. What's- I think that author should put the pronunciation in the book. That's what I appreciate about Chloe Walsh because since hers they are like Irish, Irish. she like um for example it's Aifa or it's Aoife or Aoife or Aoife I had a friend named Aoife yeah and it's, like and it's spe- yeah Aoife Aoife mm-hmm. someone told me to spell uh, pronounce Aoife but it's like A O I F E and I I and she also like all her slang that she puts in there too she like has a pronunciation and I didn't know that when I was reading it I remember the reading vlog I was like saying some of the slang and I was trying to figure out what it was and then eventually I was like oh it's Lori in the book yeah I didn't know that until I finished yeah it, well because she put it at the back yeah. in Binding and Keeping 13 but then when you read Saving and Redeeming 6 it's at the front oh. which I was like smart Chloe. yeah that, yeah, that was good <laughs> yeah it was good yeah but um I forgot my thought process of what I was saying this is a struggle having a podcast with me I'm like um what was I saying but Chloe Walsh no like we were talking about something before this I was like, oh, I want Lucian and Sloane's uh, arc. Yeah. I want it so bad. I'm How to think, I'm, I DM Lucy Score and go, hey, listen, love you and love your books. Can I please get the arc? I want to DM Jessa. Jessa's going to hate me. <laughs> well, I DM'd her after she <laughs> posted she that. Does she arcs? I don't know. I literally have no idea. Cause it, I feel like she does. Really I feel like she's very like under wraps about it. Probably. I feel like that's why Sarah J. Mass doesn't do it because she has like a whole entire, like it's called the Massiverse. Mm-hmm. So she, I feel like she doesn't want to do it. Yeah, I feel like because... Jessa wouldn't. But I replied to the, her story when she posted that MP3 was done. I was like, oh my God, congrats. I'm physically feeling this inside of me right now. She didn't answer, but like <laughs> it's in there if she wants to see it <laughs> rachel catherine got love theoretically the arc i've never been more jealous of a person <laughs> in my life because i literally can't wait for that book it comes out next month but jesus christ Maybe LA we should ask her hey rachel <laughs> hey rachel can we all share that <laughs> sisterhood of the traveling book i think that's really cute sisterhood of the traveling book like yeah. someone annotates and then send. i'm that gonna send be you a podcast a- name that's cute i'm gonna send um, you an actually i'm book. copywriting that so if any of you guys <laughs> take that from me i'm gonna be extremely pissed i'm gonna annotate a book and then send it to you oh that's so cute and, and then, then you annotate it and then i annotate it and then i send it to Haley, yeah, and then she annotates it and she sends it to whoever she wants a whole a whole sisterhood of travel it's just gonna be black ink by the time that's done <laughs> that happens um, my, my beach read book because my best friend lauren she shout i annotated out lauren. shout out lauren i annotated it at first and then she read it while i was with her because she wanted to read the book obviously and she annotated it and then recently when i reread it i annotated it again because i wanted to go more in depth of my own annotations and now it's like filled and i love it i love the look of an annotated book it's so do I. I love a worn book aesthetic that's mm-hmm. why i have started dog earing my pages there oh, i said I do, it i do that literally my brother even got grossed out by it one time <laughs> he like picked up a book and he was like oh why are you dog earing that and i was like i feel like if it's your book you can, you can dog that ear. is what i say i go i break spines i dog ear books yeah. because guess what babe 
my book i don't purposely break spines but i'll flip the page if i could like you know how you, when oh, you I open love the book? flipping the page yeah. it's, it's so old but you should see my beach read book like that's worn in oh no so is your love in other words the original uh, copy yeah. um i'm trying to think of books that. like that they're like worn i don't know but mm-hmm. my actor books <laughs> i like crack those <laughs> they just feel over. good when they're where they're loved yeah and that's the thing i want to love my books yeah <laughs> i have all of them i brought some books here for our pictures and yes. stuff it's really cute your pagnolia parks books are loved they're real love they're about to get more love because i'm going back through them yes I which love. should we say no people know us <laughs> do they Has, if, if you're listening there, there might be like some new know. people here we can get a little I don't, a little brief we can get a little brief obviously because we keep talking about it uh, uh what's your favorite books magnolia park series yeah mm-hmm. yeah well so if what's you have your, to do a top five off the top of your head top yep. like you can do series magnolia park series love in other words <laughs> six of crows duet the fact that you said duet instead of duology is cracking me up oh I you, you can, can say either or words, you right? can say either or but i, like I love that you duet. chose duet i like that word it's a duet it's a duet we're a duet we are a duet. We're, a duet. we're a duo we're, we're a duology, duology. <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to think of my other two do you want to go while i think um no okay do you know any of my favorites why do i feel like you would know me better than myself because <laughs> i literally i try to tell sarah this all the time because like we'll be talking i don't know if you notice this i'll go didn't you say that in a vlog <laughs> i watch your videos religiously like you and Haley. i have you guys in the background i kid you not yeah. all the time like you guys could say something and i'm like i know exactly what yeah. videos are from i could tell you right now and i could tell you the time frame <laughs> that's like when i'm watching your videos i talk back to it hey yeah. still i'm like talking to you guys as if you're with um, me, let me try to oh beach read beach obviously. read obviously um buy a thread i'd put that in there yeah i I love that book it's I so know. good yeah i think it's a top five there's definitely more but that's like what's in my head right now yeah at the top of your head mm. yeah so what do you have um definitely the boys of tom and series mm. akatar um happy place beach read mm. and then um love in other words perfect i'm gonna put in the ballad of never after in there because i think that was really 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 i really can't good. wait for the third book me too yeah what's another fun fact how old are you i'm 23 years old 23 years young i'm 22 no, no you're 22 babe <laughs> I was literally, I was like, did you see the face that I just gave you when you said that? I was like, that's wrong. <laughs> it's because you're about to be 23 on June 14th. <gasps> my birthday's very soon. Yes. But still, I'm not 23. <laughs> no, I was like, this, you said 23 and my face automatically crumpled. I was like, no, yeah, you're not. You're 22. So I am 22. You're a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. I live in New Jersey. That's really all. You, what else do people say about themselves? Um, I don't know. Whatever they want. <laughs> I don't have a favorite color. <laughs> you don't have a favorite I feel color. people give their favorite colors. I'm a I neutral don't have a favorite girl. color either. If I had to pick, it'd be like this kind of green yeah, if you're watching. Yeah, green. Or like a pink. I yeah. wouldn't wear the pink, but I like the color But you can pink. appreciate the color. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. It's cute, yeah. really. It is cute, and that's fun in the fresh. Thank you so um, much. I am Destiny. I am just tr- turned 20 a few months ago. Um, I'm an Aquarius. What else did you say? Oh, I live in Indiana. In your color. I don't have a favorite color, but I would have to. I just wear a lot of pink, yeah. so I feel like people assume that's my favorite color. Yellow used to be my favorite color, but I love like a... Uh, any color you're just a color girl no i do love literally you look colors so, all over yeah. my room i'm yeah. always wearing literally if you're watching i'm just wearing like p- you just look so cute in colors you're just I like love- a bright and it goes with your personality too which is really cute and it's funny because i think i do that because in my mind i'm so sad and so i try to like put so <laughs> many colors out there and i like i because you know that this is like a fact it like, helps you yes like you colors. have to be in like if you feel like that inside you have to like kind of it's like if say if you had like this room around mm-hmm. you it would make you feel even more like sad oh yeah so i try to put bright colors to like make myself feel better the way i'm neutral and have all <laughs> whites and beiges and blacks and grays <laughs> but that's like you you're very like mm-hmm. a calming essence and i feel like that's very like yeah except juni little miss juni little miss juni do you want to tell people about that do you guys know juniper you like announced <laughs> it on your instagram for like a split second i don't feel like it's had was, its moment yeah because well when i got my last car i made it like a separate video because i wasn't really doing books and people were like are you gonna do another like car tour video i watched that by the way yeah i, <laughs> yeah, you did. I just want to let everyone know that i literally watched sarah's car tour <laughs> years before i started talking i don't think i'll do that again because people on the car side of youtube found that and, and i don't Jeeps, like that that community yeah, is so i'm not huge, doing that and you will offend somebody yeah so, so i'm just gonna put it in a vlog and i don't think it's out when this comes out because i'm I don't really know yet so if you've seen it or not but i did post it on my instagram i got a jeep wrangler new 2023 i think it's called willies or something like that it's like half electric really cute so but, cute but i got a really pretty color it it looks like more of like a sage green sage gray sea foamy kind yeah. of green but it's called earl gray if you're gonna like look it up or something it's really cute and i like it because the 
usually wranglers you have to take like the roofs off and stuff like you had one and you had yes. to like manually you do to take everything the tiles off yeah so for mine it's just like you just click the button and then sunroof goes all the way back you can like oh, stop so, it wherever you want so convenient. you still have to take the doors off manually and stuff like that but like i don't, don't think i'm gonna do that <laughs> unfortunately they do not have a button where the doors just fall <laughs> off but <laughs> i'm not a tesla no but when you come back over the summer we'll Oh, I'm so excited. We'll do the whole Jeep thing. Yeah. The whole beach Jeep jersey thing. Oh my gosh, that's going to be yeah, so fun. Her name is Juniper. Junie for short. We actually made that in like my Discord. Because I was at the dealership for so long and I was like, I have to name this car. I'm like sitting there for like six hours and I'm like thinking of a name. And I like that. I like like old lady names. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. Is Juniper an old lady name? Um, I feel like it. I could not imagine like a three-year-old named Juniper. I could imagine I thought, a three-year-old named Junie. Junie, and I think Junie, it's a nickname, is really cute. So cute so yeah that's my update <laughs> that get, is your life update a big life up, that's yeah. a big life update i think it is and i think it's really it's interesting not interesting maybe cool for me because my first car i begged for a wrangler mm-hmm. my first car my parents helped me which was very nice very i feel very nice about that they helped me with their car and i begged for a wrangler because my dad had one and i didn't get a wrangler i got like a different type of jeep and i like over the years like really wanted a wrangler so it's really cool yeah. that i got a wrangler now for myself i love that for you thank you so much the jeep life is a great life it i used to have love. a jeep for those of you who mm-hmm. don't know i had one in high school before like my youtube channel took off mm-hmm. um i had a jeep for like a while and then i actually it was like last year that i sold my jeep because gas prices are through the roof and i wasn't doing what i was doing now and like i could not afford gas for that jeep yeah because i was working at starbucks and like i could not i (laughs) just simply could not afford it and also i like driving on the highway was scary because uh, mine was an older jeep too like i feel like now the newer ones are made a little bit sturdier like when you're on the highway it doesn't feel as scary it was literally fearful one time i was driving home from a baseball game and i fully could not gain control of the yeah. wheel yeah my dad had like years ago like the older yeah. version yeah and they drove so rough yeah. but now they fixed them up yeah they're, i feel they're like good. they did because when i drive in years it drives a lot smoother than mine did. oh yeah it, it feels nice i was I, worried about yeah. that i want a ford bronco mm-hmm. so so entirely bad yeah, like i'm, so gri- cute I'm gripping the microphone i want a yellow one <laughs> but if i couldn't get a yellow one i want a white one but they're so expensive yeah they're well cars in general are ex- crazy right now yeah but they're like <laughs> i could Insane. like the thing is is that i justify i don't know like i'm feeling so impulsive now that you got your jeep that i want to get my bronco that was like chris my boyfriend he he got one because he i yeah. think he was gonna be jealous that i got a new car and he didn't yeah my lease was up that's why i got a new car and just go out to get a new car no like genuinely like my dad's gonna be listening to this i literally want to go home and talk to my dad and be like if i wanted to like go get one right now how bad of a financial investment would that yeah be? i mean you could just plan it out and see how it would go i would just have to be paying like so much in a car payment a month it's like Mm -hmm. do you want to do that yeah well that's why i got the jeep because every other car that i was looking at i was gonna take my brother's car but because he lived he moved to the city or whatever i know the last time i was here that was the plan and then i (laughs) i just want to let you know that when you posted that on your close friend story i went and showed my i was standing in the living room eating and my dad was on the couch literally went and showed my dad was like look at what sarah just got <laughs> literally i talk about you literally all the time i think my family's over it like because i will be like look at this like my dad's never met sarah and i'll be like look isn't this so cool and he was like oh that's so cool and then i went oh uh-huh. look her boyfriend got one and then i was like oh oh and his dad got one <laughs> it's really interesting i didn't even talk about it yet but it wasn't a plan it's because okay so i went to chris's house in the morning his dad got one they just went to the dealership just to look at it and he came home with a wrangler and i went to go look at it just because it was fun new purchase yeah and he let me drive it around the block and i looked at chris because he's in the passenger seat and i said i would look really cute really cute in this and you do look so cute uh, thank you and that's like the first thing in my head it's so stupid but i was like i look so cute in this and we've been me and chris chris helps me and we've been looking for cars for me just because in case i didn't want the car my brother was i was taking for my brother so we were looking and everything is so expensive and i just can't justify paying that much because i'm not a car person i don't know i just don't it's just a, I wouldn't pay. I don't want to pay that much. I'm not a car person either. Yeah. So, Isaac's like a car person. I'm not. Yeah. So his dad was like, they have other ones there if you want to go look. And he got a good price for it. So Chris and I went back literally right after they left. And they were like, why are you back? And I saw the one on the lot. And I said, I want, I like want that. It's, it was so cute. The color was so it's cute. It's perfect for you. Yeah. And the, and the payments weren't as high as like anywhere else, which was actually really crazy because we were looking at it cars. It was meant for you. It, it was, was meant to be. And there were cars that are half the price for like double the, the lease price. And it was crazy. So I told, I told them, I was like, I want this. And then there was two on the grass in front of the Jeep dealership. And Chris saw the one next to it. It's a different version of a Wrangler, but he was like, and I want that one. And he was like second guessing himself, but he's so happy he got it. And we went home that day with three Wranglers. Now, if you don't mind me asking. Yeah did he like trade in his car or is he oh, yeah. in his car so he bought his car but his warranty was up in like two or three months so by that time he wanted to sell it anyway yeah so he, had, so he like, traded a, it in yeah he traded it in i traded in my brother's kia and then 
they kept they had another car they were keeping to give to his whatever yeah whole story yeah yeah but we traded in two cars and then we got those and yeah. now we're now we're a jeep couple but that is so <laughs> cute though and, and sarah's been so excited to like see the jeeps and do the jeep wave oh yeah and it's really embarrassing because when you wave and they don't wave back it's like it hurts like i feel i it. can't wait until you get ducked for the first time that's like I such did. a cute little thing <gasps> oh not ducked like i got they didn't wave back i got that kind of ducked i didn't get actually rubber ducked no because they do that i remember being like so confused like one time i was in walmart and somebody like left a duck on my car and i, I was like it's like a sex trafficking thing no i would it, get nervous yeah so would i if i didn't know that it's a jeep thing yeah but it is a jeep thing and it's cute like it yeah it's so funny that that it's i'm it telling you the thing. jeep community it's is so cute. strong i like to be part of a little community yeah, like that. that's why I, mean, I was like i'm gonna start a bronco community and i'm gonna <laughs> start should. being like a head nod nod chris doesn't know about the the rubber ducky thing so i think i'm gonna do it to him and he's gonna be so you should put ten thousand in his car i will i'll buy them all on amazon there's probably packs of like hundreds <laughs> and you just sneak it in there yeah well he's been researching everything about jeep but i don't think he's figured how out how does he not ducks. come across that gym i don't know because he's like thinking about what to do to his car he wants to like oh like tint it and get the whatever that's literally, the boys oh, whatever. no that's literally um I'm, my friend jared he literally like is in love with the jeep i think yeah and, and, and chris is never i never thought he would get a wrangler he's he's like he likes the fast cars and his cars like that so i'm very surprised how much he loves it yeah he's turning a new leaf and i love it for him yeah i know that's so yeah. so great for him yeah great for so him great great for really him. happy for him yeah that's the little updates on that do we want to talk more about this week Our like week. what we've been up to this week yeah let's do it yeah we can do that this is very last minute very last because okay we'll i'll just reiterate just really quick from our first little episode but we were planning to launch this podcast may 1st that was like the date in our heads because we were talking about it earlier than that but there's a lot that went into it that we couldn't do i i feel like that we didn't think about until so we were like yeah. on cloud nine we were like really the adrenaline for starting the podcast was really high which is weird because i think it was because <laughs> it was just with myself because i had rolled out a podcast before but like i said it was with myself so like i was just doing it by myself so mm -hmm. i could do it whenever and i was just like okay babe didn't think about like it was like like we said in the last episode we did the podcast together we go through the podcast and our managers were like okay let's set up a meeting and then we were on cloud nine and they brought us like back down to the ground yeah, they like not in a negative us. way but they were like girls like you can't just simply be like we're doing a podcast and yeah you know? they were asking us like the actual questions we probably should have like asked ourselves we they were like okay so what are you gonna do what are you gonna name it you have to do this you have to do that and we were like oh yeah there's a lot that went into it and yeah. then i i went to florida for a week so that well, no, was but i was like we did that at the beginning of april and then i was gone for literally basically yeah, all of april. which april wasn't gonna work out that's why we said may 1st but we didn't realize that we had to do stuff before yeah. may 1st Well, because that's what i was saying i was like since i was gone um we couldn't like go do like the stuff yeah. that we had to do this week and also like when i got back <laughs> from everything i was like i can't yeah. literally no one even asked me to go to target yeah. like i can't even move from yeah, my you're bed. A world traveler yeah and never would do that <laughs> again but um so then we had to do this and it was like extremely last minute because once you got home from florida i kind of almost had this little like this like oh my gosh we need to do this feeling because it was like we wanted to do it in may yeah and i was like okay it's already like the first week of may mm -hmm. and i couldn't do it the first week of may because it was like isaac's birthday and i didn't like want to cut it close to not being there and i was like okay well i have to like you know whatever yeah but i said any dates worked yeah and i was like you got home from florida i was like okay i need to do it now yeah i got i got home and you came what date did you come because i got home the third did and then the i eighth? came here the eighth yeah yeah no like i came like once you got home i was giving you like a day or two like i didn't want to bombard you right when you got home yeah and then i was like hey by the way like, like we have to do this when can i come yeah. and then so then i don't know if you guys know this but like i said this in the last episode but like basically when flights are very last minute the closer you get to a flight the more it's going to be and so i went on there i was looking at flights and also i had to fly into newark very little airlines fly into newark from it's Indiana? just delta oh. united and then there's like spirit and there's like something else Jet Blue? like some yeah it's international though yeah but like the airlines i i like know and go with like there's very there's oh. a very little amount of actual airlines that go to newark like southwest doesn't go mm. um like there's some like just like how i'm going like palm west palm beach mm -hmm. only delta and um american i think fly into that oh, i'm sure there's more but like whatever so anyway i had like a few airlines to choose from and on most of them it was like nine like basically nine hundred dollars before like fees having to check bags because also when i thought about it like having to come here with equipment yeah. in one suitcase and then the fear of like people throwing my equipment around that's like yeah. multiple hundreds of dollars that i've spent and then also like a big suitcase full of everything that we needed and like i had so many different other bags and i was like okay i'm literally gonna have to spend so much money on checking bags yeah and then um so that on top of everything like it would have been over two thousand dollars to come yeah. here 
And I was like, I just simply can't do that. <laughs> like, I can't spend that much to come here last minute. So then I was like, you know what? It's a 10 hour drive. Yeah. Like I, we drive to Florida all the time and that's like a 12 plus hour drive. So I was like, eh, it's not bad. I never drove, by the way, like never drove on a road trip before. Oh, really? Ever. No, never. I don't think this I, was my first time. I haven't done like a long road trip. I've never even done over three hours. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have either. I think three I've driven. I've only drove from Illinois to help Isaac bring shoes back. And that I almost literally fell asleep at the wheel. Oh, but that was because like we had just did the road trip. I kid you not. We had went to Texas, Dallas, Texas for his sneaker con. And that was a 12 plus hour drive. We drove home, got home that day. I was home for two hours before he was like, let's drive two more hours to Illinois <sighs> to get all these shoes back. We spent like seven hours. That's crazy. That's probably a little drunk. Five literally five hours at zach's house drove and then i had to drive back and it was really like two o'clock in the morning yeah, so running traveling everything i was like oh my god I don't know. so i'd never done more than that and also like when we do go on road trips isaac doesn't let me drive because he's very scared <laughs> um but literally even my mom and misty were like oh my god you did so good like literally mm -hmm. i drove through the night yeah, i drove like probably crazy. yeah because like, she left at what time like 11 p.m i yeah it was like 10 30 ish yeah and she drove like through middle of the night and got here at like 11 yeah i drove until about morning. almost 5 a.m and then i was like okay i really need to like take like an hour or two nap and then i'll be fine because i'll get a coffee from starbucks mm -hmm. it opens at five i'll like be fine so i took like an hour or two nap and i drove the rest of the way here and um i got this airbnb that we're in right now because like obviously you see like us recording is not sarah's house yeah, or this, anything. Is not, this is not my house it's not a secret room <laughs> it's my airbnb <laughs> and i got the airbnb for such a steal of what yeah. it usually is because i was like looking for a hotel to stay in yeah, there's not many and really. i brought charlie with me so i had to look for like pet friendly stuff and i was looking for pet friendly airbnbs and i found this one mm -hmm. it was such a good price so i stayed here and then this whole entire week we've been just like taking pictures mm -hmm. doing all that stuff and like it's been such a busy week yeah we, we tried to plan it before you came but then when you got here we like really kind of sat down and said what we have to do well, each day it was hard to like try to plan that out like also mm -hmm. like we don't really talk on the phone so it was like trying to over yeah. text was like a little complicated to like say like our ideas and our stuff. ideas and stuff and we made like, a pinterest board that's the only thing yeah. we had for inspiration of what and we like, wanted we went this week. off of that though like oh, we yeah. were like planning days around that mm -hmm. but it was like when i came here so like i drove here came here um we did like a few things and then we were like getting stuff from target and stuff and then we like came did photos that night woke up on tuesday we went to barnes just, yeah the, what was the first day the first day is when we did the beach pics oh yeah we did we went to target went to trader joe's got the flower we literally ransacked trader joe's flowers yeah and then we got so many we came here got ready went to the beach and yeah, then took some beach pics yeah I had, I had to go to a teeth appointment oh yeah i saw <laughs> sarah her wisdom teeth every time Des is here i make her come somewhere with me last time was the scammers and i had to go to verizon so many times Apple, that we went to td td and verizon this and time I, was my doctor wisdom teeth, yeah my wisdom teeth and i was just doing that yeah office and then um <laughs> we came here and yeah we took, we took beach pics that night and then we woke up on tuesday and we went to barnes yeah tuesday we did barnes and we did um we went somewhere else after no no yeah we did barnes and the picnic photos in the oh yeah, with the pink. yeah yeah and then we got the, our hazel hoodies yesterday and then that's when i was working on the magazine lol spent so many hours working on that thing yeah i feel so bad we had this well destiny came up with this huge great idea it came from like this inspiration from the pinterest but like it was really good idea to have for like the little yeah. easter egg we tried to do was so make yeah if you've seen the easter egg photo when you see under my leg it's a photo mm -hmm. that says like bookmarked and that was supposed to be the cover of the magazine because i don't know if anybody else like back in the visco days people were making magazines like on tiktok i saw all over tiktok and that's always been a thing in the back of my brain and i when i went on staples it said as long as you order before 2 p.m yeah. it, you can get it the same day so i thought okay as long as i order it it can be done and then it basically well, yeah no. and you worked for hours on like designing the each page would have been and there was like multiple pages and then just didn't work out like i have the photos of it so maybe it can be like an instagram post you know yeah, like a little say, like i was gonna say a little carousel. carousel yeah we could do that um that way somebody sees it the yeah. hours of work that i put in yesterday and it's really key yeah we'll post it or the was that did was you say that i did that last or night yesterday because oh. yesterday that was yesterday because oh, we i came saying, tuesday and yesterday was wednesday today's thursday oh yeah literally what monday. is going on no i came yes. tuesday um so that was all yesterday and then today we woke up at sunrise and then oh, took some yeah. sunrise photos i so remember cold. waking up at like 3 50 in the morning because i haven't been sleeping here I, I go home because i'm like close to the airbnb and i remember waking up and it was pitch black and i was like 
I don't know. I just, whenever I wake up for the sunrise, like I've done it before, I just can't fathom it. I was rethinking everything. I like feel like, and when I drove back after, like hours later, I felt like it was a different day. Yeah, because so it was so I. long ago. But yeah, we woke up for the sunrise. I came. We did pictures on the beach this morning. It was so cold, but it was really cute. Freezing. So cold. They turned out cute, but like we were so cold, and yeah. then um went back to bed went back to bed and then you came like later because honestly today was more of like a, we didn't have to have yeah we had one today. one actual photo it was just thing. the easter egg photo yeah and yeah. then to film these podcast episodes yeah. and that was really all that we had to do today yeah. i mean the rest of uh, after this you've already seen everything but like editing everything and yeah like, posting things. like we're gonna have to do all of that but like today we're gonna post our easter egg photo yes i'm so excited <laughs> and um, it's not an actual i don't know if people are thinking that we're saying like we are posting a picture of an easter egg <laughs> oh no it's like you know how taylor swift like drops little little hints and stuff throughout yeah her little fandom and you like pick up on it like in the photo under her leg it says bookmarked and on the podcast thing on the ipad it says bookmarked so it's like our little easter eggs to announce it but like we're not saying what it is just yeah if people see it and then yeah yeah people see and it then, yeah yeah exactly and yeah and then yeah exactly. but i feel like if people see bookmarked on the ipad i don't like what would i think but if i'm not I saw answering it? any questions oh yeah we're just gonna post and we're not gonna say anything about but it i could see people looking at the po- uh, the pinterest page and maybe just thinking like we named like the like bookmarked yeah like we just named it which pinterest is fine that. you'll think f- it'll come out because i don't know like i i could imagine some people zooming in oh but yeah i just don't think i'm a zoomer like i would literally be like that would go over my head then i would see somebody post about it on tiktok and yeah. i'd be like oh wow didn't well that's why that. i feel like it'll be very interesting when they when you guys are like listening to this podcast or the first one you we you, you hear that we did like easter eggs what if i told you i was a mastermind <laughs> exactly we're taylor swift <laughs> in her taylor swift era can yeah. we not talk about maddie healy and her i don't want to talk about it in case anyone was wondering my <laughs> stance on it i really don't want to talk about it but the thing is is that i don't actually that's a lie what i was about a bold face lie to everybody i was literally about to i was about a bold face lie and be like I don't get it. I don't get into like people's relationships. <laughs> Knowing full well that anytime any of my friends see anything post about Tom Holland and Zendaya, that they send it to me. And Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I love them so much. I love I'm them so too. I don't think I'm really into that. Other than Harry and that world, I'm not. And I care about Taylor Swift, but I, yeah. I think it's because of like everything that goes on. Like, I don't want to be one of those people that really look into her relationships. I usually just get my information from TikTok, which isn't the best reliable source, but that's no. all I see. But the thing is, is that Maddie Healy, mm. what can the girl do, you know? Well, I saw, the only thing I saw of that was a TikTok of him at the concert with Gigi Hadid. And that's literally all I saw. I just saw literally today on TikTok, uh, the paparazzi photos of them like going to that's her That's so Airbnb. interesting. So she's hanging out with him? Is it that what's feels going on? like a publicity stunt. What kind of publicity stunt is this? I don't understand. It just feels like she's trying, I don't know. What, with Maddie Healy? This is such a random little. I just. Do they I have need, a history? No. Uh, actually, yes. Oh, actually, they? yes. I think I it was like it. years ago they would like post. It was like years and years ago, like no. a Tumblr era, I think. Okay. I don't know. I, I could be that. so loud and so wrong, but I think it was like that. But um never like actually maybe it was like dating rumors before and then now they're like talking again my thing is that people that are like oh my god she moved on so fast i'm like J- her and joe definitely have been broke up for a while but people are like but she just released that and i'm like but those songs probably that were um made on the midnight's album were like made for such a long time because like mm-hmm. joe and her would collaborate on songs um and i understand like it's hard for people to be like oh their relationship i'm like but at the end of the day like we know nothing about these people yeah really. that's why i don't get too into it because i literally I, it's, and she's a human being if she wants to date maddie healy she yeah. can date maddie healy i know and if she wants to announce anything she can that's why i can't get into it that's like when things about harry come up and i'm like it's just i have that, no idea i don't fully believe it also because literally her song where she's like romance isn't dead if you keep it just yours like she's very private about her relationship mm-hmm. so i don't imagine that she would just be this blatant about it that's how i feel about harry and yeah the emirata situation but like. i've never seen anything else about that before after that after that whole entire like make out session they had yeah. against a car and that's what i mean they were literally in tokyo i'm mean, pretty sure he's probably drunk and they, they probably hooked up yeah like he's allowed a- to have hookups he doesn't have to just like be dating people he's a lot is that hard for you to hear it is really hard (laughs) the look on your face when i said that you you took that like you and him like broke up okay why (laughs) in okay girl it's hard to hear that (laughs) this is like in the wattpad like you and harry broke up and And i see him hooking up with and you're like and we have to talk about on our podcast for our millions of followers (laughs) that are like keeping up with my delusional head my, del- del- um, de- my delulu brain maybe one episode we can just talk about our wattpad actually did you have a did you have a heavy wattpad face or no yeah well it was on wattpad i read a few stories but i was like the instagram post stories you know those? And we've talked about that yeah, before remember i that. told you about my dance mom yeah. one mine were just always hairy oh i don't think i read any other mine were wattpad. just dance moms so interesting you were in the dance moms one <laughs> and you were the dancer i wanted oh, to be yeah. a dancer oh really mm-hmm. did you ever nope oh really Mm-mm. i feel like all 
I feel like it, girls usually just go no, into dance. I was a softball sports girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were a sports girl. My parents put me into sports, mm-hmm. unfortunately. I tried sports. I tried soccer. I think I was four. They put me on the field. I saw everyone and I cried and left. And my grandparents like came down to watch me practice. Sometimes you're not a sports girly. I'm not a sports girly. I don't, I just was, I'm not an athletic girly. I don't think I'm athletic. You just did sports. I just did sports. Okay. Like, you know, like I was that kid that like everyone on the team was kind of like, okay, she's not good. <laughs> Like, and I'm fine with that. Like, my parents are very blatant about it, too. Like, my, oh, dad, will li- my dad literally looks at me. And he's like, you're just not athletic, and that's fine. All right. But you did sports. But I did sports. Yeah. Because, like, that was just my thing. Like, my parents were, like, the type that were like, but you have to do something, you know? Yeah, my mom was like that, too. She kept me. I mean, I liked dance, and I loved dance. But, like, she kept me in it early days before I, like, knew I loved it. Yeah. Because you needed to do something. That was, like, I actually, I enjoyed softball. But I just knew that, like, I guess I got to the age where, like, you know, like, you're like, I'm not going to college for this. And I'm not mm-hmm. doing this professionally. So I don't want to do it anymore. That's why I quit my last year of dance, my senior year yeah. i didn't do it i was like and that's the it thing. takes I up was, all my time i was getting to the age where it was like girls were going to travel softball to try mm-hmm. to be like you know get whatever and i was like yeah i don't want to give up summers because i'm just not yeah. good that's you why know? i did senior year i was like i want to be with my friends the last yeah. year and it literally i would i was at dance every day all day and I, they knew whenever they asked me to hang out or something and i said i have dance they're like they got me a water bottle once for it was my birthday or something but on the water bottle it said sorry i have dance it was like a yeah. whole thing yeah so, that was it. i had a lot of friends too that were like um softball like it would travel softball like Mm -hmm. took up all your time like i didn't really get to hang out with those friends outside of whatever like it was hard to like try to be friends with people Mm -hmm. because usually they were like you're like closer to your like dance friends than you are with like people at school yeah it it was interesting too because i spent so much time with my dance friends they were like my best friends yeah because you don't really have time for the other people that you meet i spent so much time with my dance people yeah i still talk to some of them and my dance teacher we're like besties shout out miss tiff if you're listening or watching (laughs) shout out miss tiff she's like my biggest supporter i love her that is so cute yeah i didn't um play any sports in high school i just played golf which is a sport Mm -hmm. technically but like no one took me seriously when i would say that so it's a sport it literally is a sport question mark yeah no golf (laughs) is a sport (laughs) niall plays golf and it's that's all that matters tom holland does play golf as well He's always been golf. best friends. <laughs> no. They should be. Um, I literally have always wanted to recreate. Tom Holland had this video of him in his Spider-Man costume, and he, like, was at the driving range, like, in the middle of the night, and I've always wanted to oh. recreate that. Um, so you should. So I should. But now Isaac's into golf, and oh, I literally really? was like, he's so up. I literally bought him, like, a nice oh, set of yeah, golf clubs that, for his yeah. birthday, and I literally always look at him, and I'm like, oh, so I could, literally couldn't even make you come to golf matches and when <laughs> I was in high school, and he was bored to tears and would literally just be, like, yeah. riding the golf cart around. The tables And now he's turned. literally, every single day that I've been here, he has golfed. Every single day. Really? He's been at the golf course hmm. with his friends, and I'm like. Is it, like, the golf course? You guys go to, do you have top golf? We right. have top golf, but he, like, goes to the golf course he and plays nine holes. Golf oh yeah he's you guys like can golf together he has texted me every day about when his new golf clubs are coming he is so excited i've never <laughs> seen so him i love when people get new hobbies no i do too but the thing is about him is it like, was your hobby first it was my hobby first <laughs> and also he gets hyper fixated on stuff so i'm scared of when oh, this yeah. ends and the chris money that i've too. already put into it chris bowled for a few months with his friends <laughs> and literally i was nervous not nervous i was gonna be his thing because i just don't like bowling but like i would go with him yeah. but i just didn't want to i didn't want to have to go to bowling for the rest of my life no but he hyper fixates so that lasted maybe two months yeah that's over and now well, he's hyper fixation his car so. i said that i want to do pickleball and literally they don't want to do pickleball i'll pickleball with you thanks i have to go to New Jersey <laughs> and play with you because my dad has the pickleball court and they love it yeah it's so fun but see we don't have pickleball courts in indiana oh really yeah. none no none hmm. I don't think Indian, Indiana people really like care about pickleball. You should make the first Indiana pickleball court. Yeah, I should invest money into that. But um, <laughs> we were, I don't know how we got here from like talking about this week, but that's really oh, yeah. like all we've been doing is just like taking pictures. I think a lot of people, so like no one, obviously no one knows like this is what we're doing. Like mm-hmm. no one knows that like we're coming down here for the podcast. Yeah. I think a lot of people think that we're doing the like collab video. Yeah. Well, it's really confusing too because we can't really announce when we're, like, not that we can't but like we don't announce when we're hanging out so like i posted a tiktok that was like the first time people saw that we like, were as here soon as I got and here, people were like is TikTok. this a draft or, like what is going on because like i don't say like destiny's coming this week sometimes though it cracks me up like people were like is this a draft and i was like babe this audio is trending right now oh i never think of that of like i always that. think of that that's how i know the timeline so i'm like they couldn't have done that audio oh, because right. this audio is just now trending well someone was like well destiny just posted she had she's going on a road trip and that's a sweatshirt she was wearing in the picture and i was like you guys are you're good at this <laughs> I didn't the think anyone's gonna put two and no, two together. I never think that people care that much about me, but then I remember like when I was well, I'm still obsessed with Emma Chamberlain, but like I remember when she would eat, like be hanging out with her friends mm-hmm. and stuff, and I'd be like, yeah. I know because she was wearing this that day, and I know that this was yeah. that day. Like that's yeah, yeah. When you like really care, like that's how it is. That's it's just I don't see people caring like that about me. It blows my mind. The yeah. whole perception thing. We've talked about this so many times. Yeah, we literally like, talked about this in like on the podcast episode that we did, but um yeah, I I think people think that we're just like collabing, and mm-hmm. we also like it's weird because. 
I, I honestly have barely even looked at my phone. Like when I, I, I've never, yeah. I haven't had time to do just sit on my phone. Yeah. And any, like, I, I have not scrolled through TikTok, Instagram, and everything for days because I've just been like, we've just been doing this yeah. that I've had literally when I'm not doing this, I'm asleep. Yeah. Which it feels good not to be scrolling and doing stuff, but I get overwhelmed when I don't catch up with things I on my phone. I don't get overwhelmed. I almost get this anxious feeling like I'm missing something. Oh. Like I get this, yeah. like I, I get this, like almost like a heart palpitation. Like I haven't checked Instagram. How crazy is that? That's yeah. That's like me because the addiction to my phone is absolutely insane. See, but I'm not. I can literally because I lose my phone mm-hmm. literally 15 <laughs> times a day. Oh my god, I don't know how many times it'll go. Where is my phone? Like I just forget that it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm not like addicted to my phone, but it, I just like I said, I just get this anxiety about not yeah. checking my social media. Yeah, like, I think it's what like, if something big happened and I don't know. I would let you know thanks text me <laughs> you know i have a i have the addiction it's literally sick addiction. <laughs> the polaroids we took and you're like me on my phone me on my phone no I, yeah i think like a bunch of them are just me on my phone <laughs> but it's i'm cute. not even doing anything i just have to oh my god so bad no but um, get over that. yeah but basically i feel like a lot of and we just haven't posted is what i was saying like oh yeah you posted like a picture of charlie and then you posted the questions that we're gonna get to oh yeah, yeah. but we haven't like i haven't we haven't posted any pictures together we haven't like posted well because we haven't really done anything that like not that it can't be Warren's posted, but like, posted. cause we're not hanging out. Like, okay, we're, we're together, mm-hmm. but we're not like how, like when last time I was here, it's like, we're always posting on stories because we yeah. were hanging out with each other. Yeah. We're not like running around. We're not going to the city. We're not like just, we're not just going sitting out at a eat. coffee shop. Yeah. We're not just like going out to eat. Really and all the pictures here. that I have in my camera from this week are stuff that would give away kind of what we're doing. Not give it away. You wouldn't expect a well, podcast no. from it, but it shows that we're doing something. Well, no, it shows that something's up. Cause yeah. unless they're the candid photos, like us at sunrise, that could be just cause we wanted to do sunrise or like yeah. us in your Jeep. Could yeah. be just cause we were taking cute pictures um but like the picnic photos the beach photos yeah. like i have and a like cute picture i want to like post of our books on the beach with the flowers but like i'm not gonna do that yet because why i mean we could just do that anyway but like when the pictures come out of us yeah. in those pictures it'll be like oh that's what it was for yeah and like um but yeah like those photos i it's not that i don't think people would be like oh they're doing a podcast i think it's yeah. just like what are they doing it together suspicion that they're taking these actual photo shoot photos for you yeah. know what i mean because like we're not the type to just be like oh let's go take pictures yeah. and flowers on the beach like yeah. you know what i mean like we're just more like candid yeah so i mean so yeah we haven't posted that. much no we haven't posted much That's why so. i think people are also so confused they're like charlie yeah they're like, what? literally what they're like girls what is going on and i'm gonna go <laughs> home and like not post a vlog until the podcast is out and they're gonna be like yeah, because there's no video that's going to come out. My next it, video is going to be my next, like, mochi yeah. picking my TV on. It's like... And we didn't have <laughs> any like that. Like you said, like, we didn't say, like, oh, I'm going over to Sarah's. Like, yeah. I didn't say that. So, people are like, literally, what is going on? Yeah. So, that's what we've been doing. What that we've is, been up to. That's what we've been doing, what we've been up to this week. We're secretive. So, yeah, we're very secretive. Very excited. <laughs> hope you guys were excited for this. I really hope so. Yeah. Do you want to get into the questions that people ask? Yeah. Let's do this. I'm going to start off with the first one. Okay. Because Haley asked us a question. <gasps> Miss we girl. love Haley. Haley, if you're watching, if you're listening, we miss you. We love you. We can't wait to see you. Mm-hmm. Let us know when you're free. <laughs> Please let us know when let you're us free. Let us know your next dates so we can plan that. I will yeah. plan it right now. If, if you Actually, I might text our group chat after this and be like, hey, when can I see you your know. sweet face? We need the dates. Don't worry. Our beach trip is in works. We just need dates and then it'll happen. Yeah. We just need date. Haley's a booked and busy girl. Yeah. That's the thing. Harry? Harry. <laughs> Haley. <laughs> Haley's got a busy life where yeah. we are where's her okay she said name a book you forced yourself to like oh this is very this is a hard one because now i have to think about all the books i've read <laughs> no for me it comes up the top of my head that i've lied about but it was in the beginning of my book tube oh really like you said you liked it when you really didn't yeah i know what you're about to say right what am I about have to we say? talked about this yeah seven husbands yeah yeah i knew it i 100 pre- because people have like a cult following of that book mm-hmm. and it's like I just didn't enjoy it. There was nothing like it wasn't revolutionary. Do you want to know what it was? It was because it was an OG book talk book and it was so hyped up. Like it ends with us, punk 57 yeah. and all that stuff that I was really expecting to like be astounded by it. And yeah. then I wasn't. So then I was like, mm, this is kind of, you know, like yeah. bland. I even reread it last year. Oh, you to did? See, like, yeah, I reread it last year. I'm scared to reread it. I'm like, I don't even know if I want to waste my time. <laughs> yeah, I reread it last year or i reread it at some point mm-hmm. to see like if you missed something. if i missed something because i was it's like me with normal people too mm-hmm. except i never lie i never lied about liking normal people. and i don't call it a lie it's just that like especially when you first are starting out with your booktube channel and it's a book of that extreme mm-hmm. hype to like be like oh no i don't like it I'm trying to think i won't even one. say that i hate it i won't say that i hate which it. one the seven husbands i won't say that i hate it it's, it's just that one, i don't like it yeah i never you tried to like ever it. let me look because now i don't know what book i tried to well, i did this with I don't know if i've ever like forced myself maybe i have because i feel like it's definitely gonna be a book that's popular and everyone loves and i'm like why don't i love it 
So and I it give it a high rating. to have that feeling. It usually happens with a lot of YA books, I feel like. Hold on. I remember when we first started kind of talking and you mentioned me in your videos. <laughs> and then you were like, I'm so sad I didn't like the Summer Broken Rules because Destiny really I was really just loved about it. to say the Summer Broken Rules. Yeah. I think that's because, I don't know, YA romances are hard for me to like really enjoy because I... I feel like you either like YA or you don't. Yeah, because I just like romances that are like, not deep, but like have like, not like that lighthearted. That are more adult. That are more adult. Yeah, so I don't... I won't say I forced myself to like it, but, like, I really tried to really like it. And I remember yeah. reading it and, like, thinking, like, everyone loves this. Why do I not love, like, yeah. love this? Why did I put my phone down? I actually have to look at questions. Yeah, you actually do. Okay. What's a book you're waiting to be released? I like it. Well, Love Theoretically, mm -hmm. Crescent City 3. Mm -hmm. um, I think, what's the Lucian Sloan book called? Things We Left Unsaid. Oh, Yes that one that's a little like i have that stuff sometimes where i don't know off the top of my head it's a nugget of information that is in my brain that will just pull <laughs> itself out i kid you not you like just, i don't i didn't even think about saying that and i just realized that i said it and it was right you file it away your brain it's yeah, a, no, subconscious I, no, i've said i have compared my brain before to just a filing cabinet you just have it's the spongebob meme where everything's yeah, on fire the that's me that's what i mean mm -hmm. do you have one that you're like off the top of your head magnolia park three <sighs> yeah but that's so far away i I will be losing sleep over what that date. What if she date. pulls a Frank Ocean and she just like releases it? I'm having heart palpitations right now. <laughs> Me too from all the energy drinks I've had. <laughs> um, a book you wish you could erase from your memory and reread for the first time. Ooh, this is a hard one to pick. Just one. Guys, I'm going to say back to Leah Parks. The feeling I got from that book is like literally not Oh, yeah. Me. I would 100% say Akatar. Mm. I feel like a fantasy, I feel like I would want to erase my memory from because... They always end like crazy, and I feel like going yes. rereading a fantasy is hard because you know what's coming. I feel like it's different rereading a fantasy. I love looking back at my Akatar reading vlog and literally not knowing anything that's about to happen to me. Yeah, I would read the Ballad of Never After. I want to wipe my memory from that. I loved that book. I love it too, but like I just think that I, I, any Sarah Day Mass book, mm -hmm. I wish I could. Yeah, yeah, I wish I could erase it. Can we expect you two to move in together? No. <laughs> no no we're just gonna be honest not because like i wouldn't want to yeah but it's because we're in a phase of our life where like it wouldn't happen it just wouldn't happen because one we have serious boyfriends and if yeah, we like, were gonna move in somebody it would be yeah them. my next step is like moving in with chris or something. yeah it's not moving like i'm not an appointment i'm also life not her moving move. across not the cross country but like to another state it just doesn't make sense mm -mm. to like move to jersey because also like since we are in serious relationships yeah isaac can't up and move his business yeah isaac is already doing a business venture that he has to we can away. dream about it in our delusional little minds we're gonna like see each other a lot so it's <laughs> fine um what's your favorite quote from a book off the top of your head cut me and i'd bleed him <laughs> oh my god i could say more but it's like spoilers from yeah. the book i feel like oh my god or from daisy hates too when he like what's that quote where he's oh my god another the, life i could have loved you another life i would have oh, i thought you, you were saying when he's uh saying like what she smells like and like comparing her to no i liked when I don't want to say it. Talk about Daisy Hates too. It's like too many spoilers. But Magnolia Parks too. There's a lot of good ones. Anyway, yeah. Magnolia Parks. <laughs> yeah. That's really. Me. Um, I was about to say a quote from Happy Place, but I won't. Um, because you haven't read it yet. If you would have read, it, I would have said it. But I literally just always think about um, hello, Gus. favorite darling. Oh, oh, yeah, obviously that. <laughs> but like, uh, hello, <laughs> oh my god, do you guys oh, want to know how down bad? <clears throat> <laughs> there's this guy there's like two different guys on tiktok that like people were just like his voice is like they wish that like he could do the, like the akatar voice because yeah. like it's a thing in the community of people who love akatar that they want it to be animated i think the same thing is i don't think a human being could do Rezan justice yeah. i just don't think i have found him yet and um they want it to be animated so do i and they were like looking for people who could do his voice and they were like two different guys and people kept on tagging me and i was like oh my god <laughs> did they do it well oh he did the voice perfectly oh really oh, oh my good. god it was i need to find it because he did the voice perfectly mm -hmm. exactly how i imagine yeah hello favorite darling iconic yeah because i just imagine like what he this is what i mean by i get attached mm -hmm. but i just imagine like him like trying to hype himself up and then he's uh -huh. like hello hello Feyre. yeah and she's just so annoyed <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> but i would definitely say i always go to you i'm when you're when you sleep i'm overwhelmed that you yeah. exist there's also the other one from beach read you're well per i just posted it on my feed oh yeah well, perfectly what is it i forget your post perfectly my favorite person yeah something like yeah, that something like that but i just Beatry. i said it in my dear ranking video i was like shakespeare wrote romeo and juliet but he couldn't have wrote that <laughs> like that is like imagine a guy being like when you sleep i'm overwhelmed that you didn't yeah. exist well it's funny because when i reread it they were talking about in the beginning of the book um 
I don't know what they're talking about, but she said something about not feeling overwhelmed that something something when they're sleep something. Yes. So then when he said it at the end, it really hit because she already said it before. I don't know. It's really Gus good. Ever it. Yeah, Gus is absolutely perfect. BJ or Low? Obviously, I'm just you're gonna say an obvious. I'm gonna say Low. Mm-hmm. I love Lauren Kiss, Mary, Kill, BJ, Rezan, and Gus. Oh, you're gonna hate me. Don't even. Don't you even <laughs> dare. Don't you even dare. Wait, what, what was it? Kiss, Mary, Kill? Kiss, Mary, Kill, BJ, Rezan, and Gus. Kiss, BJ. I can't continue. Who like, are you marrying? I'm marrying Gus so you can have so you can have him. Go ahead and say. Go ahead and act like that's why. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a nervous giggle. I'm gonna have- <laughs> yeah, don't even finish that I statement. I don't want to. Okay, well, guess what? Killing BJ. <laughs> With fine. no second thought. It's fine. He just, like, is too toxic for me. <gasps> I love their love their books but i just would i think i would kill bj you were just looking at him you don't want to kiss him no because i don't imagine what he looks like i don't either i imagine his presence and i literally get butterflies <laughs> okay Delulu. i need to come back down to earth <laughs> okay me literally okay i would oh, this is so hard i would kiss gus and marry rezand 100 percent. okay i would want to spend a fate eternity with rezand Oh, that's so true. You would have, like, so long with <laughs> Because them. I would also have, like, the inner circle with me. But couples that got on your nerves that you DNF'd the book. Go ahead and say I it. I don't want it. <laughs> Go ahead and say it. It's okay. Mine used to be Magnolia Parks. I know. And then I gave it a second chance. I know you're going to say Barney and yeah, Keeping Johnny Johnny and Shannon. Shannon. Um, emphasis on the Shannon. Eye roll emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Were, oh my God, this was is yours so Magnolia annoying. Parks? Yeah, I said Pri- that. Oh, okay. Prior to the reread. Yeah, there's like, I think we've answered a lot of them. I, we've answered a lot. It's hard to answer questions. We could talk forever. We could talk forever, <laughs> but we talked about a lot today. I mean, this we've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes. Damn. We're crazy. No. <laughs> I don't know. I can there's tell. nothing in here right I now. I can tell when Sarah's like <laughs> checked out. Like we've been talking for a while though. And we recorded an episode right before this one. That is all that we have for you guys <laughs> That today. is all that we have. I'm so happy that this is a thing. I'm so happy. I had such a good time. I had such a good time too. Um, if you guys, everything you say. <laughs> yeah, just keep on doing it. <laughs> if you guys like this episode, you guys need to leave a rating and a review. If you guys are watching it on YouTube, then like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to be following over on the Instagram page. And don't forget to follow us. If you're not following us, what are you doing Mm -hmm. and i hope you guys are going to have an amazing rest of your week rest of your day until you guys hear from us again yes thank you guys so much for listening for watching and for following along for following along i hope you guys come back next week yes and we shall see you guys and we shall see you thank you guys so much thank you so much bye bye